Hey there everybody, welcome back to the channel, my name's Chris Olmi, nice to see you, how you doing, welcome back, one and all. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I wanted to make this video to update you on where we've been in terms of content not going up on this channel, I've not been live on Twitch, and a few other bits and pieces here and there. Um, it'll surprise nobody if you've been on this channel for any length of time or follow me over on Twitch. You know I have health issues, they did play a part. Um, the resultant financial issues from that also play another part. My wife's got some major health issues right now. Um, and the financial aspect of that is terrifying. So... Hey, any, any any billionaires out there? Want to come help us out? Um, but yeah, no, seriously, it's it's been preying on my mind a lot more than I thought it would. Because I'm used to being ill, but I'm not used to seeing my wife ill. It's very, very different. So I think we're coming towards the end of that process, thankfully. But our bills are, as I say, racking up to like four figures and rising uh, right now. And we just don't have that kind of money to, you know, comfortably spend, even on medical stuff. So, things are a bit rough right now. Things are a bit delicate in certain places. So, YouTube, Twitch, had to go on the back burner. I've tried to keep at least the Starters Order Series 1 video a week. I understand that the, the day I've uploaded it on has been, you know, maybe not the same day every week. Um, I might have missed some time here. I think three videos have gone up. In the last three weeks, or maybe I've missed a week, like right now that hasn't been my priority, so I'm not even sure if I've missed a week, which suck if I have, and I apologize for any disruptions, because I, I want to keep just getting content out there, it's something I enjoy doing, it's something people seem to enjoy watching, and yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to do my best with all of that, but with such a lot on my plate right now, I hope you can at least understand why it's not up to the same quality or the same regularity um, or even on the same schedule as I had. I used to do you know, a video a day on YouTube and stream every day, Monday to Friday, on Twitch for four hours. That's just not feasible right now. I've got you know, money issues. I'm trying to sort those out so I can get back to a bit more of a schedule that I can work uh back on the youtube side of things and the twitch side of things but i just don't know where that is so expect the starters orders videos to come you know as they have been roughly you know once a week hopefully on the same day every week if not i'm i sorry but you know just where we are boys and girls that's just where we are and yeah expect another series as well not the not not the franchise hockey manager series I wanted to do. Not the other park baseball series. Not the other two football manager series I wanted to do, and not the Twitch save football manager, which when I get back to Twitch we will carry on with. But none of those. Uh, instead, a little bit more like this: me kind of talking to the camera, or me talking um, with just you know no camera, but having the uh, the subject matter on screen. And it's a little bit about my hobbies and my outlets. Um, a little bit about me throughout that. A little bit about my struggles with my stomach issues, my, my IBS issues, my health in the past. Um, my mental issues, including imposter syndrome. I just don't think anything I do is good enough. And I find it really difficult to accept praise. So... Yeah, there's only one or two things I believe I'm good at, and even then I think there are better people at them, like, much better than me. It's it's kind of a real bitch to get past, but we all have our issues, I'm not really complaining about mine. Some people have it far worse than me, but hey, my life's not been a cakewalk. It's been very comfortable at times, but other times it's been hell. So, I kind of want to talk a little bit about that, because I think that's important, so you can understand where I come from. Uh, my mindset on things and why I'm doing things the way I do and why I do the things I do. Um, and I also want to, within that series, and the main point of that series is going to be just a list of videos, one each on a particular subject that means something to me. So we opened it up with Colorado Avalanche Ice Hockey, the NHL. 
that to me is one thing. Because, you know, where I come from with that um, is not how most people maybe approach that sport or fell in love with a sports team. But it's, it's kind of my story why that was important to me back in the day, where it comes from, where it is now, where I see it in the future, and why I'd encourage other people to be a fan of Colorado or the NHL or ice hockey, whatever, you know, the benefits and the pitfalls of being in love with those kind of things. So that was number one. I thought that was a nice, easy lead in because we do sports management games here on the channel. That's overwhelmingly what we've done. We've done some reviews. We've done little bits of this and that, other playthroughs. On my previous channels, we did more tech reviews. I've done uh, book reviews. I've done um, other playthroughs of, of video games that aren't in the sports management genre. But I think by and large, over the last few years on this channel, it, it's been nearly constantly either video game reviews or it's been sports management playthroughs. So I thought that was a nice, easy lead in with sports. The second topic I want to talk about is going to come up on the channel soon. Um, and, and, you know, so as soon as you see the ice hockey one, know that the next one up is, is more than likely going to be the one I'm talking about now. And that is Dungeons and Dragons, D&D or tabletop role playing games. There's a stigma attached to them. It has been for many years. It certainly was when I got in the hobby. It's something I've kept very close to my chest um, and not really talked about with a number of people. But I think it's a fascinating hobby. I think it, a lot of the myths and worries about it are vastly either overplayed or just unfounded to begin with. I think it's something that most kids in school should be introduced to. Uh, I think it helps on a variety of levels. Reading, writing, arithmetic, social interaction, teamwork. It's, it's like anything, like sports, a team sport. Like that teaches a kid so much and athletically gives them a huge step forward, right? I think all kids should be involved in team sports. No matter what the sport, no matter what level the team, all kids should have that opportunity. I didn't... I really regret that. And I've coached kids uh, in soccer, football, um, and a little bit in rugby, but that's not really my sport or area of exp expertise at all. But I've, I've done that to try and give people a little bit more like hope and something to fall in love with, something that will do them right and not much that they can go wrong with. I think that's important. And for me, D&D &D is very much the mental counterpart to a team sport. It's a collaborative storytelling thing, and it's, as I say, got so many secondary and tertiary attributes, but it's just good, clean fun at the end of the day as well. Uh, and some of my closest friends who would do anything for me, I'd do anything for them. Like 90% of those friends I have made through D&D, &D, and only 10% of them I've made through Twitch. Um... And all the other friends I've met through other avenues really haven't, you know, remained as close. Um, and I, I, I do attribute that to the types of interactions we have. And D&D has led to great interactions in general. So I want to break that down, my story, how I got into the hobby, how you can get into the hobby, how you can get back into the hobby. I took a five-year break when I moved from the UK to the US. I currently run two campaigns in one campaign world where both groups interact with each other and their plot lines and all sorts of craziness can ensue and has ensued it's fascinating to me i hope it'll be interesting to you and yeah i just want to get more people into the hobby it seems like a really high point for dnd in terms of visibility accessibility the learning curve is is really kind of good um yeah, I think it's it's pretty decent. I think it's pretty decent right now. So that'll be video two, video three, four, five. I've got planned coming out on my love of reading and highlighting a couple of book series um, and other sports and sports franchises like the Denver Broncos, Swansea City, and so on and so forth. So 
That's to come. Starters orders should continue. As and when. We'll get back to Twitch when we can. Uh, like I say, at the moment. If anyone's got any ideas on how to make some, you know, fairly quick, stress-free, like not super hard work. Something I can do from home. Like, I've explored a lot of options, but I'm sure there's stuff out there that I haven't looked at yet. Or I haven't thought of yet. So leave those in the comment section down below if you can. And, yeah. More content on the way when I can, but this is where we've been. This is how life is. This is how I'm going to attempt to proceed. The Starters Order series, at least one video a week, hopefully, uh, for the foreseeable future. That might be the only game content on the channel for a while. Twitch, when we get back on there, I'm hoping that'll be, again, mainly Football Manager. And this just series of about me and my interests. We'll also play along in the background. I, I haven't really got a schedule for that, but I've got a number of topics I'd like to talk about, so we'll deal with all of that. So, hey, thank you very much for watching this video. Um, I appreciate the patience and the, uh, the well wishes that I have had from some people. I have had people reach out since videos haven't been going up on the channel i've had people reach out to me because they're twitch viewers and they haven't seen me in quite a while so i hope this explains some of that i do appreciate the love and support as always thank you very much until next time though hopefully see you say uh, very soon until then take care stay safe behave and be nice to each other so i'm watching peace